Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to solve chapter number 10, time, from book 3. So let's start from page number 215. Here we have the clock and we just have to find the time and write the correct time in the given box. So the question is, we can count time on from 5 to find the minutes shown on the clock. Each hand is of 5 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and 60. So the complete minutes in the clock is 60 minutes and between these 60 minutes like 5, like 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 minutes, then 6, 7, 8, 9, then 10 minutes, so on the time is going. So here we have the time is the hour hand is at 12 and the minute hand is at 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is 12, 8. Next is write the time. Here we have the hour hand is at 11 and the minute hand is at 19. Again the hour hand is at 4. When the hour hand is between two numbers, we always read the smallest number. 4 and the minute is 39 page number 216 here again we have to write the time Tom is at the library at dash pm so 4 and 10 11 12 13 4 13 so we say that time is 13 minute past 4 in afternoon number 6 Janhao has dinner at 7. Here we have 25 and one more 26. So we say the time is 26 minutes past 7 in the evening. Page number 217. Again we have to write the time. It's 5.48. It means the time is 12 minutes to 6 in the afternoon. Here Raju plays the piano at 7 53 because we have 7 minutes left in 8 page number 216 here again we have to write the time simple 20 minutes past 7 so in the morning the time is 7 20 a.m. we use a.m. for the morning 27 minutes past it is 25, 26, 27. 27 minutes past 9 at night. 9.27 p.m. because night is at p.m. Here we have 15 minutes to 8 in the morning. So it is 7.45 because 30, 35, 40 and complete 9 is 45. Now here we have 18 minutes to 5. The remaining time is 18 minutes to 5 in the afternoon. It means it is 4 because uh, we always read the smallest number 4, 40, 41, 42, 4, 42. Now here we have to draw the missing hand. So the missing hand is 23 minutes past 2. So here we have 2 and we have to draw the missing hand at 22 minutes. 20, 21, 22. So it is 22. 8 minutes to 10. It means we have to draw the needle before 11. So here we have 8 minutes left into 10. Page number 221. Here we have the word problems. Kate watched a cartoon at 6.30 pm. The cartoon lasts for 1 hour. What time will the cartoon end? So Kate watched the cartoons for 1 hour. 6.30 plus 1, 7.30. So the cartoon will end at 7.30. Emma and Bina start playing at 2.15 p.m. They play 1 hour 15 minutes. What time do, did they finish the game? Simply 2.15 plus 1, 3.15. And then we are going to add 15 minutes more. So 15 plus 15, 30. They finish their game at 3.30. Farhan started writing a letter at 10.20 a.m. He took 45 minutes to write a letter. What time did he finish? We simply add 45 minutes into 
20 because we always add the minutes with minutes or we can simply add 40 and 5 separately when we add 40 minutes into 20 it becomes 60 60 means 1 hour so 1 hour it becomes 11 11 and then we are going to add 5 11 plus 5 is 11 5 and if we add directly 45 minutes into 1020 it will become 11 5 so he finishes writing the letter at 11 5 am here we have a piano lesson started at 11 20 am page number 222 a piano lesson is started at 11 20 the lesson lasts for 1 hour 15 minutes what time will the lesson end we simply have to add 1 hour 15 minutes into 11 50, 20 11 20 plus 1 hour 15 minutes 5 3 and then 12 so the piano lesson will end at 12.35 or we can easily add 11.20 with 1 hour 12.20 then we add 15 into 20 12.35 now here we have Junhao wants to watch the who's who in China what is the duration of the program so here are the program duration Junhao watched the Thai television 7.30 to 8 it means he watched 30 minutes. The duration of the program is 30 minutes. Page number 283. Nora and her family start making kites at 11.30. They finish making it 12.15. Now how long did it take to make the kites? Simple 11.30, then 30 minutes, 12, then 15 minutes, 12.15. So they took 30 plus 15, 45 minutes. A movie started at 1.20 p.m. and ended at 4 p.m. What is the duration of the movie? 1.20, 2.20, 3.20 and 4. So we are going to add 1, 1 and 2, 2 hours and 20 plus 20, 40 minutes. So the movie duration ends at 2 hours, 40 minutes. Page number 284. Bala spent 2 hours and 30 minutes at his relative house. He left his relative house at 4.20 p.m. What time did he reach at the relative house? At his house. Simple, we just have to write the time. 1 hour 15 minutes. We are going to start from this side. 4.20, 3.50. 20 then we move 30 minutes back. So, we are going to subtract 30 minutes from 4.20. We, are not sub we cannot subtract 30 from 20, so we are going to take the borrow from 1 hour, it will become 3 hours and it will become 80 minutes. Now we are going to subtract this, so it means it moved back at 350, then after 350, 2 more hours. 2 more hours means we are going to subtract this, 3, 50 and 2, 50 and 1. So it means that Bala reached his relative house at 1.50 p.m. And watched television for 45 minutes. She switched off the television at 1.20, 12.30 p.m. What time did she start watching the television? So she switched off the television at 12.15. She watched 45 minutes. So we are going to divide the time into half hour and complete hour. So half hour means 30. So when we are going to back, when we are going to subtract this time, we are going to subtract 30 minutes from 12. So it will become 12 and then remaining 15 minutes, 12 minus 15 is 11.45. And start watching television at 11.45. City so start reading at 9.45 a.m. She reads for 55 minutes. What time did she stop reading? 9.45 plus 15, 10 plus 40, 10.40. Kate and Priya start swimming at 8 a.m. They finish swimming at 1.05. How long did they swim? 8.15, simply add 2 hours, then add 5 because they started 2 hours 15 minutes. 8 
10 and then 10 5 so simply the difference between 8 and 10 is 2 hours and then 5 minutes is the difference so it means they swam for 2 or 5 minutes Junhao and women play for 1 hour 40 minutes they stop playing 11.40 am what time did they start so they, st they stop at 11.40 they play 1 hour 40 minutes. So when we move back 40 minutes, so the time is 11. And when we move 1 hour back, so 11 is 10. They start playing at 10. Here we have Mrs. Ali spent 2 hours 25 minutes baking. What was the duration in minutes? 2 hours 40 minutes. 1 hour is 60. 2 hour means 120. 2 hours 25 minutes mean 120 plus 25 so 120 plus 25 is 145 now we have 3 hours 15 minutes 1 hour 60 2 hours 120 3 hour means 180 so 180 plus 15 minutes 195 now here we have the duration between these numbers 60 minutes late and here we have the remaining time 7.45, 45 minutes late. What was the duration of hours and minutes? 105 minutes, 60 minutes because we cannot take 120. 60 minutes plus 45, 1 hour 45 minutes. Page number 228, our birthday party lasted at 18, 1, 185 minutes. What was the duration in hours and minutes? 60 minutes, 1 hour, 120 minutes, 2 hour. 180 minutes, 3, 3 hours. So 180 and 5. 180 and 5, it means the party duration is 3 hours, 5 minutes. Here we have 250. 250 means 60 minutes, 1 hour, 122, 183. 240 means 4 hours. So 240, 10 minutes. Means 4 hours, 10 minutes. Here we have 200. Means 180, 3 hours. 180, 3 hours. The remaining is 20. 3 hours, 20 minutes. Now here we have to convert the time into hours and minutes. Same as it is we are doing here. Here I have written the page 228 with the complete explanation. 2 hours, 40 minutes mean. 2 hours means 120 minutes. And then 40. 120 plus 40, 160. 4 hours, 35 minutes. 4 hours means 240. 240 plus 35. 275 3 hours 15 minutes 3 hours means 180 180 plus 15 195 we simply multiply 1 hour with the minutes write in hours and minutes 95 minutes means 1 hour 35 minutes 205 hours mean minutes mean 3 hours 25 minutes 175 2 hours 55 minutes page number 230 what problem two? Here we have simple. Let's solve the numbers here. Two r sixty five minutes is equals to three hours five minutes because we don't have sixty five minutes in the clock. It means that we have to convert this. So we are going to take one hour from this sixty. 65 minus 60 so 5 and 60 is 1 hour so 2 hours become 3 hours and the remaining minutes is 5 Mrs. Mrs. Lee spent 3 hours 5 minutes now here again we have 2 hours 40 minutes we have to minus 1 hour so simply we are going to subtract these numbers 2 minus 1 1 and 40 minutes now we have to subtract 5 minutes from 40 so 1 hour 35 minutes Nora spent 1 hour 35 minutes longer reading here we have 1 hour 20 minutes it means 60 minutes and 20 minutes 60 plus 20 80 now we have to subtract 50 minutes from the total minutes 80 minus 50 is 30 Farhan takes 30 minutes longer to travel to school than to the library now here we have and spend 80 minutes jogging she then spent another 85 minutes walking so 80 plus 85 is 165 now we have to convert this 165 into minutes and hours 165 means 
60, 120, 180. So we can take this. It means 1 hour, 2 hour, 3. So 2 hour, 45 minutes. 1, 11, 15, 2 hours, 45 minutes, 2 hours. So after 11, we have 2 hours means 1, 15. And then 45 minutes, 2, 2, m, 2 p.m. She finished exercise at 2 p.m. Priya had a piano lesson from 11.15 to 1.50. The lesson costs to 2600 each hour. How much did Priya pay for the lesson? So first we have to find the time 11.50 and 1.50, 12.50. So Priya lesson lasted for 2 hours. Priya lesson lasted for 2 hours and Priya pay for 2 hours. So Priya pays. 5200 for 2 hours now here we have on page number 233 4 word problems so let's start with what word problem number 1 Milling spent 1 hour 35 minutes doing homework she spent another 1 hour 55 minutes doing reading how much did she spend doing homework and reading all together it means we have to add both the numbers so here we simply add 1 hour 35 minutes with 1 hour 55 minutes Let's see 1, 35 and 1, 55, 5 and 5, 10, 5, 8, 9 and then 2, 2 are 90 minutes. But as we all know that we don't have 90 minutes in the clock so we convert this 90 into 60 minutes. So remaining is 3 and this will become 1 hour. So the answer is 3 hour 30 minutes. Number 2. Tom took 2 hours 15 minutes to complete a walk then. Ahmed took 70 minutes to complete the same walk then. How much long did Tom take to complete the walk then than Ahmed? So simply we have 2 hours 15 minutes mean 1 hour 75 minutes because we cannot subtract 70 minutes from 15 minutes. So we have to convert 15 and 70. So 1 hour 75 minutes and minus 70. 75 minus 70 is 1 hour 5 minutes. Now here we have Nora cycle for 1 hour 55 minutes. The total time that Nora and Priya cycle was 5 hour 45 minutes. How long did Priya cycle? So first we have to we have to convert the number so we can subtract the time of Nora and Priya. We cannot subtract 45 and 55. So we are going to convert this into 5 hours 45 minutes converted 4 hours 105 minutes. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. Now 4 hours 105 minus 1 hour 55. Now we can convert 55 from 105. We cannot convert 55 from 45. So when we convert 55 from 105 the answer is 50. 105 minus 55 50 and 4 hour minus 1 hour is 3 hours so it means that Priya cycle 3 hours 50 minutes now Priya started cycle at 8 15 here we have 8 15 at what time did she finish so 8 15 plus 3 50 so the answer is 11 60 it means 11 60 means 12 because 60 means 1 hour so 11 plus 1 is 12 so Priya cycle 3 hour 50 minute and she finished at 12 pm last word problem of the chapter Mr. Wong works for 11.30 am to 4.30 pm every day he is paid for rupees 1750 each hour how much is he paid in one day so Mr. Wong worked for 11.30 4.30 he is paid one. 1750 11.30 to 4.30 means we have the difference of 5 hours so means we have to subtract 17.50 with 5 17.50 multiplied by 5 is 8750 he paid in one day 8750 so this is